sick. Amen. He went and washed and came back seeing. The pool of Siloam is a type of prophetic symbol. Amen. And it's ready to uh, open up some spiritual blinded eyes. Amen. Because spiritual blindness is common. See, back in the day they think, you know, blindness may not be a common thing. But blindness is when it's spiritual. It's common. It's as common as the name Mary. Marie. Somebody say glory to God. It's common. Because everybody is born blind. Let me say that again. Everybody is born spiritually blind. Amen? So sent ones is the ones that God sends, God calls out to help bring light to your darkness. Amen? Hallelujah to God. So he said... And, and, and incidentally, Jesus is the one that's dealing with this whole situation right here, who is definitely Christ, the anointed one, Christ, the sent one. But then he's also using the pool of Siloam as a symbol as well to let you understand that when I'm not here, y'all come on, lift your hands and say, Lord God, when I go to my father, you still need me to send you somebody who's a comforter. Somebody say glory to God. Amen. So you got to understand whenever I send you somebody, you need to obey if you really want to see. You're not going to get the things of God if you don't learn how to obey. Right. Am I making sense so far? So spiritual blindness is, is, is common. Sent ones brings light to the darkness. Amen. Every believer needs to be in the ministry of the sent ones. If you sit in the ministry of somebody that ain't been sent by God, have not been chosen by God, have not you wasting your time. And your discernment really need to kick in. That's one gift you need to ask God to make sure you are equipped to have. Amen. When you get saved, you may not be the great prophet. You may not be the great evangelist. You may not be the great this and that. Amen. But you can surely ask him for the gift of discernment. You can ask him for that. Lift your hand and say glory to God. I need me the Holy Ghost, which is a direction. Then I need some discernment. Amen. 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 For myself to know what kind of environment I'm in. A lot of times we get caught up in wrong environments. But if your discernment was working where it's supposed to be working, and you know what's really funny about that? I'm going to tell you a big truth. Your discernment do work. And you fight it. You know it works. And it's constantly showing you this ain't right. And you be like, you know, I'm going to just, you know, because if I hang long enough, I'm going to change this person. You still working on changing you. Lift right. your hands to the Lord. You have not really completed yourself yet. Amen. So, to, to try to change somebody else, some hardcore somebody, no, no, no. Amen. Your job is to work on you right now. Amen. Amen. Don't, don't get Jesus started. Amen. Because he'll ask you the question, why are you beholding the mold in your brother's eye? Amen. And not considering the beam in your own eye. Come on. You don't need him. You don't even need to get him started on that. I'm talking about let's go, amen, to the to the apostolic pool of Siloam so we can come back seeing, amen? I don't care where you've been, you need to come back seeing. I don't care where you're going, you need to come back seeing, amen? Amen, every little thing that you've got into, every little problem that you have dealt with, you need to let that be over and say, I learned something through that. I'm going to come back seeing clearer. Amen. Come on, wave your hand. It was for your learning. Amen. So the sent ones, you need to be somewhere where there are some sent ones able to help you to see clear. Sent ones have an anointing that brings a revelation to the church. Amen. Sent ones have the, uh, have the kind of like the inside scoop, the sent ones. Amen. So that's why he said go to the pool of Siloam because he's making a point.